Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you what every freelancer can actually learn from Tesla's most polarizing product, their Cybertruck. Hello, what's your name? Hello everyone. My name is Alejandro. I am a web consultant and I help freelancers start and grow their web consulting business. If you want to learn more about what I do, the link is on the description below. So right behind me is the Cybertruck made by Tesla. And if you're new to this channel, one of my biggest passion besides helping people is entrepreneurship. And what I like to do is I consider myself a thief. I steal. And what I mean by that is I steal from the essence of this trillion dollar companies that they're clearly doing something right. They're investing so much money into their marketing, into their learning, into their analytics that I would be a fool not to listen. Pablo Picasso has this saying, um, good artists copy, great artists steal. And that's exactly what I do. If Tesla can literally create a car and sell this car to people without test driving it and, you know, making crazy lines to buy these things, we can grab those principles not only for our own business, but we can also do that for our clients, whether you have attorneys, chiros, dentists, etc. So I got a couple of things to share that I know it's going to make a difference, not only in how you think about your business, but specifically in your offering. And so I'm going to look down at my notes. I want to be intentional in my sharing. So I hope you don't mind. So the first thing I want to talk about is Tesla. Whether you like Tesla or not, Tesla is a company that is doing crazy things in, in the space of energy, in the space of transportation, in the, in the space of space, right? Elon Musk is doing some crazy stuff. And they're spending a lot of money into brilliant people that are getting paid to bring these products into market. In this particular scenario, we're talking about the truck market, a market in which it is composed of extremely passionate people that if you look back at their life, these are the guys who are who bought their first truck and, and, and look at everybody else that doesn't have a truck <laughs> and they're like, dude, these guys are, are uh, sissies, right? They're extremely, extremely passionate. It is a very hard market to enter, right? You're talking about the truck industry for crying out loud, right? And so here comes Tesla and they want to penetrate this market. Well, how do you do this? And I want to give you some context in the realm of, of, the, on a, of, the, of the realm of, of web space, right? There's a lot of competition out there, in quotes. And I have other videos that I, <laughs> that I talk about what I mean by that. But there's a lot of people in the marketing space, the website space. You know, you might feel the sense that it's, it's very saturated, right? Like you, you feel maybe perhaps there's no, there's no more room, there's no more opportunity. And the truth is, is kind of, um, there, is, it, there is a lot of saturation for sure, but there's a lot of people that are not doing this right. And so therefore, when you look at Tesla, they're looking at this market and, and they want to they wanna enter the truck market and they need to do it in a way that is disruptive, right? You cannot just, you know, come into the truck market with just another truck that looks exactly like every other truck. So the fact that Tesla's, you know, has a really polarizing design, like you look at this thing and it's like, what the hell are you looking at? You know, it's, it's for some of us is amazing. For some of us is an acquired taste, right? And they went in the market with something that's completely different. And when you look at what we're offering as whether you're a freelancer for web design, graphic design, video, et cetera, whatever it is that you're doing as far as freelancing, you want to take a look at what it is that you're coming into the market with. Does it look like every truck out there? Does it look like every other website or every other logo or branding, you know, or any other video editing person out there? You want to really look at how are you coming into a market that, yes, is saturated, but again, it's saturated with a lot of people that are not doing it right or that could be doing it better, right? So that's the first part about the market. If you want to enter a market that is saturated, look what, what Tesla did. They entered the truck market with a crazy, crazy product. The second aspect of it is look at their competition. You have like GMC... Ram, Dodge, you got like all of these companies that have been doing this for a very long time. And Tesla didn't care about how long these companies has been doing those cars for. They're coming in with a fresh spin 
of what they believe trucks should actually look like and be like, perform like, right? So no matter if you're seeing a lot of people in the web space, in the digital space that may have more experience than you or perhaps they've been in the game longer, being in the game longer doesn't mean much nowadays because a lot of things change. Things are constantly changing, right? So if you got dinosaurs teaching how dinosaurs uh, work back then, you know, things are changing. Their cars are driving themselves. So when you're seeing people out there that have more experience than you, consider that they may be doing it their old way for a long time. And this is an opportunity for you to come in and do something that is going to make a difference. So that is the competition. As far as the offer, I want to draw a line in the sand. And I had a video about this uh, on one of my on my uh, one of my free coaching calls. By the way, the link is, is on the description below on that as well if you want to join and you want to jam with me and, and see what's going on in your business. One of the things that we were talking about is drawing the line in the sand between an offer and a product or a service, right? And I want to make sure you have this quick distinction here. And when we're talking about a product, we're, we're talking about a truck, right? That's a, that's a product. Like, that's a truck. Like, that's the product category. But you don't want to be selling people at a truck level, and that's not what Tesla is doing. Tesla is not selling the Cybertruck at a product level. They actually are making an offer. They grab this product, and they were able to enhance it by adding so much value that became an irresistible, a take-my-money offer. And so when you're looking at your product, you want to consider to stop selling products. Because the truth is everybody else is selling products. Everybody else is selling trucks. What you can do is take a look at what it is that you're offering and how can you make it irresistible? How can you make it so when people see it, they're like, they, they, they turn heads. Like when you drive this thing, everybody looks at you. Cameras are being pulled out. My wife hates the attention. <laughs> and, uh, and just people are like, you can't ignore it. You cannot ignore it. And that's what you want to look at the way you're crafting your offer you want to be able to create something that is just hard to say no to it's hard not to look at or consider and if you have any questions about the offer comment below i'd love to walk you through maybe i'll do a video on just like walking through how you actually put an offer together perhaps i'll share how i've been able to put my offers together because that's literally the difference between when i was selling a three thousand dollar website versus i'm selling ten fifteen twenty thousand dollar offers where I'm actually providing so much value to my clients, I'm solving problems worth solving, that I'm able to demand, command high ticket pricing, and people are saying yes to me. Why? Because the value is so much higher than the price point. So just like the Cybertruck, look at your product and do something crazy, something that people are like, oh my gosh, I, can, I cannot say anything else but yes to this person in front of me. And the best way to do so, a good starting point, is take a look at the market and really get clear on what the market actually needs, what your ideal client's problems are actually, uh, what, are, what problems are they actually dealing with? What are those problems worth solving? What are they really dealing with? Because I promise you, people do not need another website. They do not need another logo. They do not need any of this stuff. They have problems and they're desperately looking for the right person to come in to be able to solve those problems. So take a look at all of the, the, like take a look at your ideal client, see what is the actual problem that they're trying to solve, reverse engineer it, and be able to look at all of your skill sets and see what from your current skill sets you can use to actually solve that problem. And if you don't have certain skill sets, how can you get those skill sets? Right? Or what resources around you can you put together that you can deliver something that's bigger than you? Right? Elon Musk is not making these cyber trucks. You know, you guys smart people. So don't be constrained of your offering. Let's say you're just doing logos. Don't be constrained with just, oh, this is what I do. I don't have any other skills. Well, what if you can partner up with someone and you can work collaborative with someone to make something bigger than, than, than you guys? So the best thing that I can tell you is when you actually Put an offer together and let's say you want to charge $10,000 for it. The value has to be worth at least $100,000. It needs to be so crazy that people are able 
uh, and willing to spend, you know, $120,000 on a truck that, you know, is going to be sold for like $60,000 if they just wait a couple of, of years. So that's pretty much what I wanted to share. I hope you uh, grab some notes. If you have any questions about what I just shared, comment below. I'm here to help you. And make sure you like, subscribe. You know, it gives me that uh, that dopamine when I see, you know, that you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, if, you, if there's anything specific that you want me to share, make sure you uh, comment below and I'll share it with you guys. By the way, this is not my truck. I'm still waiting for mine. And I want to share this with you guys. I rented this truck for to pick up my son on the last day of school. And I want to share this clip with you guys because everybody flipped when they saw the car. And it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And by the way, if you're in, in the Tampa area, I'm going to put the link to my brother Alberto's Arturo account. You guys are more than welcome to rent this bad boy and go test drive it and check out what Tesla is currently doing. So anyways, guys, with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh my goodness, how cool. Such a big surprise for our kids.